What would happen if terrorists released a biological agent at a music show in the Clark County Event Center? Would Clark County Public Health be ready to respond? Last May's Washington State Annual Bioterrorism Exercise, or Wasabi for short, was designed to help answer this question. Clark County Public Health, public health in general, are really important responders during all sorts of, of emergencies. And emergencies could range from anything like a natural disaster like an earthquake or a flood to something like we're exercising today. And public health's role is to assure the health and safety of the residents of Clark County. In these types of emergencies, Clark County Public Health implements an incident command system to best manage and respond to the situation. I'm the incident commander, so I'm sort of the executive function in the incident management organization. So I'm responsible for setting the incident objectives and then supervising the four functional positions, that is, the planning section, the operations section, the logistics section, and the finance administration section. With the help of medical providers and other public agencies participating in the exercise, Clark County Public Health staff identified the cause of the outbreak. In this case, um, the disease that they discovered for this exercise is anthrax. Anthrax isn't spread person to person, so the first thing we did in this exercise, it was at the Clark County Fairgrounds, so we closed that area so that people couldn't get there. And then we identify everybody that may have been there. This has helped us define what protective actions we're going to recommend that the public takes, which in this case involves receiving uh, antibiotic therapy. And so part of our exercise is going to be to mount a public uh, medication distribution site. In this case, our site is going to be at Clark College. Similar to the H1N1 response in 2009, Clark County Public Health reached out to residents with information on who is at risk, what to do, and then coordinated a medical pod or point of distribution. There's four stations. So the first station is fill out some paperwork, tell us who you are, what family members you're here to pick up medication for, and a little bit about medical history just so we can make sure it's safe for you to take the medication. The second step is you talk with a nurse who looks at your form, answers any questions, gives any instructions on how to take the medication, what to expect. The third station is where you actually get the treatment, the medication or the vaccine. And then the last thing you do is you hand us some paperwork and you're out and off on your way. Hopefully we've prevented illness. The purpose of an exercise is to test plans and procedures to see what's working and what could be improved. Feedback from independent evaluators and participating staff will be used to strengthen the ability of public health and partnering organizations to protect community health and safety during a real emergency. We have exercises like this each year. We work with our partners to make sure that we have plans in place. And we've had other um, real world incidents where we have responded to a real emergency, whether it's floods, um, communicable disease outbreaks like H1N1 a few years ago. We've had measles outbreaks. As Clark County Public Health improves its ability to respond in emergencies, it is also important that individuals and families be prepared as well with food, water, and other essentials. Another important piece is um, really listening to the emergency responders and their communication. If they're telling you to stay home, it's really important to listen to that. If they're telling you to come to a certain place for medication, then to follow those instructions. It's what keeps your family safe and your neighbors safe and as a community helps us to really get back on track as soon as possible. For information on Clark County Public Health or personal emergency preparedness, go to clark.wa.gov slash public dash health.